So we're going to torque down the uh, main journals, main bearings. We're going to start off with our inside bolts. This will be the first sequence. And they're all going to be torqued down at 36. And then after, once they're all torqued down, we'll torque down the exterior bolts. And then we'll continue on showing you how we do it. I don't know if you heard that torque wrench you can hear it clicking. That's telling me I'm landed at 36. So when you're working this, you want to make sure that you have enough area that your torque wrench is able to have a continuous pressure on it. So when you reach the 36, it's not in jerks. It's a constant flow and then you'll feel it right away once you hit the right pressure. There you go. We're going to continue doing that throughout these. So here we go. Now we did the inside ones at 36. We're going to do the outside ones first sequence at 15. We're going to do that all throughout all the exterior ones. We're just going to continue doing that. So now the next step is to put yourself at a 90. So you start off here and you end up directly in line with the main. So what I do is I line my torque wrench up with this bolt and the following bolt and that lines up my start point and my next point will be directly in line with the main journal or the bearing. There we go. And that's 90 degrees after the 36 pounds. So what we did to make sure that we get the right uh, degrees on this, the exterior bolts are all at 15 if you remember. And then it says add an additional 120 degrees. So we just took a protractor, set ourselves up, and ran a line and then we cut our cardboard paper at 120 degrees so this is the zero and you're going to bring your torque wrench over to this point here that's 120 degrees so we're going to do that throughout the whole sequence and then that whole bottom part will be done then we'll start on the connecting rods okay so what i did was i took the cardboard that was cut I put it in the center of my sock at the edge, as you can see over here, and I came down to this point here. I'm still at zero. I'm in line with my wrench and the other bolt for alignment, and that's going to be my 120 degrees. So I'll do this one and I'll just continue doing it through it to all the rest of them. So now we're going to do the side bolts of the main journals or the bearings, and they're going to be torqued down to 23. Oh wait, So we put these at 168 inch pounds and now we're going to put them an additional quarter turn 90 degrees. That's it for that.
ready to go on. So the front engine cover is all installed, the pulleys have been put back in place and are all torqued down to specifications. And now we have uh, our oil pan all siliconed up, ready to go on. of the car is starting to get less parts because they're slowly going back on. The water pipe circulator and the thermostat housing has been put back on to the engine and the valve covers have been put back on and tightened down to torque specifications. It's slowly coming along. The lower intake has been put on, tightened down to specifications. The throttle body here was put back on. It's just loose. We put the alternator back on over here. We put the flywheel on which is here. We put our main seal on right before that. We did a good bit there today. Just about ready to go back in. Testing the uh, 
motor to make sure that it's turning over freely. We installed the starter on our rebuilt lower engine and it seems to be turning over nice. So now we know that the motor is going to be successful once we put it back in the car. And we just at the same time we had filled it up with oil and we just helped prime the whole system with oil. So the little engine is ready to go back into the car. Won't be long now. Thanks for watching and if you like our videos and want to keep on watching subscribe to our channel it's free and hit that like button on the way out it's greatly appreciated